This is Rick from Valley Accessories and today we're going to show you another product that we like to use that uh, comes in really handy in adding electrical accessories and even trailer harnesses to your uh, bike or Canon Spider or whatever you might have. Uh, it's a signal isolator. There are several different brands available. Uh, we're going to show you the Big Bike Parts Show Chrome version. It's right here. Uh, basically what you'll do is take your power from the battery it'll go into your box and then you'll have uh, inputs from your uh, right left turn brake running ground um, everything else into the box that's going to trigger uh, internal relays and everything that comes to the contacts through the relays for all of your turn signals and running and brakes and everything will be supplied from your battery which is being charged all the time so this makes a very very easy way to run a lot of different accessories without taking a chance on damaging your bike in case something shorts out especially on trailers you don't want something back on the trailer to get uh, hung up damaged shorted out and take the bike out or the the wiring um, we have these available in bike specific for certain bikes. Uh, this one here is for a Spider RT20 Plus. It's got the harness and then you'll just um, hook up to the wiring here. So it's just basically hook right up to the bike, wire it in. And in a minute, we're going to show you exactly how we hook these up. Uh, like I say, there's several different brands of these. This is an easy one, especially for the price point. It's it's really uh, a good good quality, good price point. They work really well. And if you're going to hook a bunch of accessories up, uh, especially um, not wanting to break into your bike wiring all over the place, this is probably the easiest way to go. Um, especially on an, on an application like we're going to show you in a minute with a 21 plus gold wing where the CAN bus voltage is lower. Uh, it's, it's really kind of uh, particular on what you hook up to it. Uh, and, and the spider is the same thing. So, um, so this is this. Uh, we're going to show you in a minute. I'll show you what we do with our um, lever locks. These lever locks before we show you over there basically you'll run one wire in here lock it down and then any wire you want for this to be in parallel with it say another you, you put your supply for your say your running light in there and then whatever accessory that you want for running light put it in there lock it down it's and then it, it powers up your your um your running light rather than breaking into a um a wire someplace on the bike so i say this one for an rt we have universal ones that do not have a breakout specifically for a bike that you'll just go and um find your your specific wires for running and turn and brake and so have you so on this let's show you over on this bike here this will be a good example. On this bike, the breakout is back here. All we've done is unhook hook this in series with it. And it's got an output, which is this right here. Here's our signal isolator. Like I say, this is on a gold wing. So we've got a lot of wiring hooked up to this. So rather than, if you only had a couple um, pieces, uh lights to run you'd probably just go right into the terminal board you just take the cover off and slide your wire in there and tighten it up so you'll see you've got brakes running lights right turn left turn you even got uh power keyed power 12 volt so if you want 12 volt all the time it's here if you, if you want keyed power, it's there. Anything for your accessories for um, running all your lights and stuff while the you know where the bike is running is right here. So it makes it really easy. Now in our case, 
what we've done since we've got so many uh, accessories, lighting accessories hooked to it. We've gone and put a, like a 16 gauge wire coming out. You'll see from the left turn, right turn, uh, running lights, brake, and, and a ground. And they're coming to that, that I just showed you the lever lock. So you'll see here the ground wires here and then all my other grounds are put in that I've got for all the accessories here. So it's an easy way to not have everything go in there because it would be an absolute mess. And I'm not sure if you could stick six wires into two different blocks right here. It, so this is positively the easiest way to go. So there you have it. S isolation. Fuse block isolation. Uh, and this one is shown on a Goldwing 2021. It's a way easy way to um, hook up a lot of extra uh, lighting and whatever else you want to run on the bike, even uh, accessory outlets and stuff like that. So available from us at Value Accessories at valueaccessories.net. <laughs>